हेलो गाइस नमस्कार आई एम नॉट एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल द बॉम्ब कनेक्शन गाइस यस्टरडे सॉरी डे बिफोर यस्टरडे आई मेड अ वीडियो अबाउट टॉप टेन यू नो टीवी शोज आई लाइक एंड रिकमेंडेशंस फॉर यू एंड यू गाइस रियली अप्रिशिएटेड इट यू गाइस वर रियली अप्रिशिएटेड ऑफ व्हाट आई मेड एंड यू गाइस रियली एनकरेज्ड मी टू मेक अनदर वीडियो सो या आई एम टुडे मेकिंग अ टॉप टेन अनदर टॉप टेन वीडियो You guys were suggesting a lot of top 10 videos, and out of those were top 10 Hollywood movies. So, guys, there are like a bunch of millions of Hollywood movies out of there, right? So, I cannot choose any one of them or any uh, bunch of them to make my favorite. So, I decided to make sections, you know, different sections of Hollywood movies I can make top 10 videos of. So, the first section I will be making is top 10 horror movies. Yes, guys. Horror movies are like a cult classic. People love horror movies, though they are actually damn scared of them. They always watch horror movies, even though they watch it like this. But still, they watch it, right? And I'm sure, guys, you also love horror movies. I'm a big fan fan of horror movies. I actually started my Hollywood viewing experience by watching a Hollywood, uh, sorry, a uh, horror movie. So yeah, here I am reviewing my top 10 best horror movies of all time. You should watch. Okay, guys. Uh, first of all, before getting into the video, uh, the usual announcement that this is just my opinion. My opinion may differ from yours, but it doesn't mean that you. Uh, I am just considering my own opinion. This is just my views, my uh, um, you know, viewing experience. So I hope you understand and you bear with me. Okay, guys. So this is my top ten list. Let's get started. So at number ten is Trick or Treat. It's a 2007 movie. It's an actually a uh, anthology horror movie. Uh, not an anthology. It's a five interwoven stories of horror, all uh, connected in a very crazy way. Okay, five stories are there that takes place on the Hallow's Eve, Halloween, and all of them are connected to each other. But you will not understand how it it unfolds. But you have to watch this movie to understand. how much of an amazing film this is more than the horror factor the wow factor is amazing the storytelling is crisp and you would love each and every story they show you will be like just mind blow your mind mind would be blown that how unexpected the things can be and i would like to see you guess the story line okay guys so this is my 10th recommendation for you trick or treat you should definitely give it a try i enjoyed it thoroughly Okay, guys. That was number ten. Number nine is a recent film that I watched at the theaters, and actually one of the most scariest movies I watched at the theaters. Actually, I got like so scared, uh, and the, especially the jump scares. The name of the movie is Lights Out. It released in 2016 and has become one of my favorite movies, horror movies of all time. It actually the storyline. I think you, many of you guys, might have watched it. There's a short. Lights Out film also on net. If you want to check that out, it's only two minutes forty seven seconds long. Uh, right, Lights Out short horror movie on YouTube and search it. You will get it. The first one, and it's really scary. The short movie is scarier than the movie itself, but still. Okay, guys. Uh, the movie is about a family fighting a ghost named Diana who is afraid of light. Yes, guys. She can only kill in dark, not in light. But that is her. Only strength, because we humans are very afraid of dark, aren't you guys? I I am a, a I cannot deny the fact that whenever it's dark, whenever you're standing in the dark, you always feel like somebody is watching you, somebody is like following you. You always feel like that. There is an ominous presence going on around. Don't you feel like that? Especially towards the night, you know, <laughs> and especially when we go to the bathroom to pee, you know. So yeah, I understand what's going on. This movie explores that fear, you know, the fear of the dark, and totally, uh, yeah, it's totally relevant and totally amazing. <laughs> you should give it a watch because uh, I totally enjoyed this film, and uh, no matter how many times you watch it, you will always get scared of Dan. Uh, you will remember this name for the rest of your life. That's for sure. Okay, that was number nine. Number eight is Evil Dead. Well, I'm not talking about the. Old Evil Dead series, but the new Evil Dead 2013 version. Well, yes, if you are a gore fan, the fan of slasher flicks and stuff like that, you will definitely love this film because this is a mix of concoction, mix of 
horror and murder and slash okay this is about five friends uh, okay let me tell you let me rephrase this whole film about five friends remote cabin book of the dead possession what else do you want this is what this film is all about was this film you will be like peeing in your pants if you watch this film because it's you can you will not be able to watch it because the kind of goat they have the kind of you know cutthroat things they show in this film uh, they are like uh, too much to handle okay but if you love gore gory stuff you love uh, you know murdering and killing people slashing their throats uh, cutting their mouths with mirrors and stuff then you will definitely love this film okay this is 2013's evil dead it's the eighth recommendation i actually watched it and actually quite enjoyed it though most of the film i closed my eyes <laughs> i had to because though i really love horror movies when it comes to cutting and slashing i cannot take it i am a very sensitive person so i most of the time i close my eyes you have to watch this film in order to know what i'm talking about okay the next film in my list is a very 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 popular movie it's like the only movie people know about it's the conjuring yes guys i thought of uh, excluding this movie before but i thought it's a cult classic movie you know people talk about it all the time whenever you talk about a horror movie the first movie that comes to your mind and is conjuring how much powerful this movie is you can understand by the name of it this is the James Wan directed movie, The Conjuring, and Conjuring 2. I'm including both the films in this list because I think I loved and I enjoyed both these films. The first part was really good in terms of the storyline, it was really gripping, and it helped that it was a real story. So, yeah, it was based on the real story. Both of the uh, you know films are based on the real story, and that was the main pulling factor of this film. And uh, though you know what the story is about, it's the story of two paranormal activists, uh, Ed and Lorraine Warren, who are investigating two families, who investigate two families back to back, and uh, they have the kind of experience they go through, they go through, because definitely the houses are haunted, and they have to fight it through. This is all the story is about, but the spook factor and the uh, certain spooky elements, jump scares, are really effective. Uh, in Conjuring 1, the clap. Conjuring 2, the devil nun. Well guys, this was the number 7th spot and Conjuring is like an all time cult classic film. You can always watch it with your family, scare the shit out of them and you will enjoy it nonetheless. Okay guys, that was Conjuring and Conjuring 2 at number 7th spot. Number 6th spot, I don't think you have heard about this movie before. This is a very good movie because when I first watched it, I was like totally you know my mind was totally blown by this kind of story it had i love a good movie with a good story you know if a horror movie has a story it's like cherry on the cake so yeah that happened to me when i watched this movie the name of this movie is the uninvited this is a 2009 movie quite old but you need to watch it this is actually a revisited version of a Taiwanese film of the name a tale of two sisters you can also watch that movie that movie is awesome as well it's a tale of two sisters a tale of two sisters and the movies uh, the english version it's uninvited the storyline is so gripping i cannot say anything about the story except for the fact that this is this will remain with you for the rest of your life because of its amazing storyline you should watch this until the end okay you will love it it's a mix of horror and thriller and uh, it surrounds the uh, you know just this is a story of a 14 or 15 year old girl who moves in with his father with her father and her uh, you know um, uh, stepmother and her sister in her home after coming back from an asylum because she had some problems in the past not an asylum actually it's a psychiatric department she comes back from that facility and uh, she stays with her father and her family she is not approving of her new stepmother she thinks that her stepmother is the reason of her mother's death so she tries to unfold the mystery of this whole situation and stumbles upon very horrifying facts and you know what i'm talking about <laughs> so yeah you need to watch this movie guys that was uh, number six, the uninvited. Number five is a movie. Uh, it's not one movie actually. 
the peak well and the seek well. That is the Cloverfield and 10th Cloverfield Lane. Both these movies are totally awesome. When I watched this movie, I had no expectations, but I, after watching this movie, I was like, I want more. I definitely want a sequel. So yeah, 10 Clover, uh, uh, the Cloverfield movie came out in 2008, and 10th Cloverfield Lane came out last year, 2016. And I went to the theaters, and I had an amazing time. Both of the movies focuses on one common plot, that is alien attack. Yes, guys, a city which is ravaged by an alien and the main uh, you know usp of this these two films are they don't totally show the alien's face they just give you a glimpse of his tail of its body of its body and stuff but you will still be terrified and that is the most terrifying thing if you can't see an unknown entity you will always get scared don't you think because that is the scaring factor and it will definitely bring goosebumps to your hands and it will keep you on the edge of your seats it's like an adventure story in the middle of a destructive uh, city people are trying to save themselves it's a bunch of people they are trying to save themselves you need to watch this movie uh, this is awesome this movie is awesome it kept me on the edge of my seats throughout the movie the second movie 10 Cloverfield Rain it starts off as a mystery thriller and ends up becoming a horror movie. So yeah, you will get both horror and mystery and thriller. Sorry, three. There yeah, are three. <laughs> okay guys, that was my fifth favorite movie. Actually, I'm giving you two, 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 but I cannot help it guys. They are both my favorites. <laughs> so yeah, that was number five. Number four comes a movie which is very unique when it comes to shooting the movie okay this movie's name is grave encounters grave encounters is the movie about a bunch of uh, paranormal hunters actually they are filming their own reality tv show they have their own reality tv show but with the name of grave encounters and uh, they visit um, a mental asylum which is like uh, an abandoned mental asylum and they start filming their story they believe that they will get a very good storyline they get they actually tell the warden of that whole mental asylum to lock them up for eight hours so that they can film there without getting out and when it turns eight in the morning they will be freed up but during the time when they start filming they actually stumble upon real ghosts they don't didn't know that this would happen in the past they had some you know uh, face to face you know situation with the ghost but it was not this violent. All the patients in the uh, this mental asylum has a very big secret. This whole mental asylum has a very big secret which I didn't know about. And as they start unraveling all the mysteries, all of them starts getting killed one by one and a very gruesome manner. And all of the, the main aspect, the main USP of this whole film is all of this is recorded in a handicap. Yes, guys. The whole film is recorded in the handicam and you were you had me saying that we have already watched this movie in paranormal activity one, two, three, four and five. But to be frank, I don't consider them really scary. I I was literally literally disappointed that those are not one of my favorite movies, so that's why I didn't include them. Uh, to be frank, this movie was much more well shot for me and the storyline was totally effective. I watched this movie alone in a dorm, in an all-male dorm, and the dorm was empty at that time and my friend suggested me to watch it uh, wearing my you know sorry uh, headphones and uh, when I watched it alone I was like spooked to shit and I couldn't watch the full movie alone so I had to switch on the light call one few of my friends told them to sit there and then I completed the whole film that spooky it was so yeah I totally love the story you have to watch it there are a lot of jump scares so yeah you will get the worth of your time definitely okay number three comes okay before i get to the number three we finally reached the top three and these top three are my personal opinion voila movies you should watch so uh i hope you understand what i'm saying because these three are the ones which i really enjoyed in terms of storyline in terms of spooky horror and in terms of the characters everything was amazing in this whole story uh, in this in these films so yeah definitely uh they are in my top three list so Number three goes to Dead Silence. Dead Silence is a movie which, uh, which is one of the movies which I totally enjoyed because of the storyline. I told you before, a good horror movie with a storyline is an awesome combination. And this is 
amazing in a whole new level horror i think this has not got that much rating on imdb it has got just like 6.2 but if you watch it you will understand it's much more than that that rating i enjoyed it because of the story let me tell you the story in brief it's a young widower is in search for answers for his wife's murder and he stumbles upon his hometown which he abandoned a few years ago this hometown has its secrets and this whole murder thing uh, you know revolves around a ventriloquist named Mary Shaw and her doll Billy isn't it spooky yes a ventriloquist a ventriloquist is a person who can imitate a doll's voice and makes a show accordingly it, there is a tale there is a poem about if Mary Shaw sees you uh, watches you if you look at look at her eye to eye face to face and if you scream she will cut your tongue and uh, you know steal your voice so yeah it's like a myth going on around his town and there are a lot of secrets going on and he finally uh, gets to his hometown and starts finding unfolding all the mysteries behind his uh, you know wife's death and why his wife got killed until the end you will not understand what's happening not not what's happening actually you will be you know you will be just guessing who is the real killer who uh, means it's like a killer ghost story you will not understand why Mary Shaw is killing uh, this is after this guy why Mary Shaw is hell-bent on uh, keeping all these secrets why people are so afraid of Mary Shaw and uh, until the end you will be like kept in your seats that's for sure I love the story, this was very spooky, this gave me goosebumps all around my arms, especially the doll. The stories with the dolls, yes. Do you remember the curse of Chucky? Yeah, yes, it's much more than scarier. This doll is much more creepier for me because the way it looks and moves at heads, oh, it's awesome. Well guys, that was number three spot. The number three spot goes to Dead Silence. Number two spot comes to another very popular movie series that is Grudge 1 and Grudge 2. Yes guys, Grudge is the first horror, American horror movie uh, which I saw and got spooked out. <laughs> so yeah, definitely I need to include this film, definitely include this film in my top 10 list. I had to. Okay, do you remember Kayako and her voice like she makes out of her vocal cords? Oh my god, that was scary as shit. I couldn't get over it for a week or so I always used to see her here and there when you get spooked out of a film you start experiencing all these scary things out of nowhere you know you see them all over the places and that is the scariest part and this film did that to me both these films Grudge 1 and Grudge 2 you need to watch out oh my god nothing else to say Kayako just watch out for Kayako <laughs> okay guys it's number two I will not reveal much of the storyline from the number two and number one you need to watch it in order to understand okay number one finally we reached number one number one goes to sinister sinister is the movie which i stumbled upon in 2014 or 2015 and after watching it i couldn't sleep for days because the story was so unsettling so uncomfortable and so twisted that it kept me you know awake for nights thinking about what really happened why did this happen how could this happen you know it totally twisted in my mind and totally made me feel bad okay guys you need to watch this movie in order to understand this is the story of a crime novelist moving into a murder house to write his novel and stumbles upon a bunch of horrifying VSTC tapes VSTC tapes uh, I think I'm saying the name wrong VSC tapes I think but anyways those tapes recorded the murder of the people living in the same house four families dying in a very gruesome ways and all of the families have one thing in common their eldest child one of their children is missing so isn't it isn't it very interesting yes very interesting he starts to understand this and uh, finally stumbles upon this mystery and he wants to unravel this mystery and during this whole unraveling he uh, faces a lot of you know supernatural activities going on around in his own home and everything goes haywire yeah as it all happens in the horror movies well guys that was my top 10 
best horror movie recommendations for you if you guys like my reaction uh, reaction I'm used to saying reaction all the time so if you really like this video then please put a thumbs up comment down below what your thoughts really are how many of these movies have you watched till now and how many of you uh, of these movies you want to watch and uh, what did you think about my top 10 recommendations uh, definitely and yeah I will be doing next I will be doing the top 10 uh, let me see uh, top 10 what can I do I haven't thought about it hmm I will be writing it down in the comment section once I upload this video I will be thinking about it and I will be writing it down in the comment section guys you have requested me to uh, you know recommend some key dramas Korean dramas you should watch and I think you should definitely give it a try so should I do a top 10 quote Korean dramas in my next session I think I should do it because you will be amazed by how much amazing they are and few of you, my subscribers were, you know, uh, actually fighting, uh, actually uh, commenting and suggesting me that Indian dramas, more than Indian dramas, Pakistani dramas and K dramas, both are very amazing. They are much more amazing, and I totally agree with you. I'm a big fan of Pakistani dramas and K dramas. I have been watching, binge watching K dramas for the quite few months right now, and I just finished one of the K dramas, and I'm gonna tell you, you gonna, you will be you will be able to so much relate to these dramas and you will totally love it okay so my next segment i think i will be doing top 10k dramas you should definitely watch okay guys that was my video if you guys liked it please put a thumbs up comment down below thoughts and suggestions and subscribe to my channel we are very close to 600 subscriber mark thank you for helping me reach the 500 subscriber mark you guys are awesome i'll be seeing you again until then ciao